we'll take a closer look at exchange rates and how they're determined. The rate of exchange is the price that one pays for one currency in terms of another currency. For example, when we buy US dollars, we want to know how many rand a US dollar will cost us. And to explain the determination of the exchange rate and the change in the exchange rate, we'll use demand and supply analysis. In this case, the exchange rate is the price of a US dollar in rand, so we can construct our curve. Let's create this graph. On the vertical axis, we measured the price of a US dollar in rands, and on the horizontal axis, the number or quantity of US dollars. Remember, the law of demand states that the lower the price, the higher the quantity demanded, ceteris paribus. So, a decrease in the price of a dollar from, say, 12 to 6 rand, increases the quantity of dollars demanded, from Q1 to Q2. The demand for dollars complies with this law of demand. Let's take a look at why South Africans exhibit such a strong demand for dollars. The demand for dollars is a derived demand, and it comes from three sources. First, South African importers who import goods and services for which they have to pay in US dollars. Secondly, South African residents who wish to purchase dollar-denominated assets overseas. And thirdly, foreign residents selling off South African financial assets. A decrease in the price of dollars implies that an American tractor, for instance, bought from the US would now be cheaper. To illustrate this, at an exchange rate of 12 rand to the US dollar, a tractor costing 50,000 US dollars in America will cost 600,000 rand in South Africa. If the dollar price is lower, say at 8 rand to the dollar, the same tractor will cost only 400,000 rand in South Africa. At a lower price for dollars, American goods become cheaper and more are bought, so the quantity of dollars demanded for these purchases goes up. Now that we know what causes a movement along the demand curve for dollars, we need to consider what will cause a shift of that demand curve. If a movement along the demand curve for dollars is caused by a change in the price of dollars, a shift of the whole curve must be caused by any of the non-price factors. An increase in the amount of capital goods, machinery and equipment purchased from America due to an increase in the level of production or growth in South Africa. An increase in the number of imported consumer goods purchased from America due to an increase in household income. Or perhaps an increase in capital outflows, South Africans investing in American financial assets. All of these events would cause a rightward shift of the demand for dollar curve and vice versa. A leftward shift indicates that at every price for the dollar, fewer are demanded than before.